it is very easy to search and download CSIR net syllabus in PDF format, but no one tells you about the important topics for CSIR net exam and weightage of important topics. So we elaborate on the important topics and their historical weightage in the exam. So let us divide the syllabus into two parts, general aptitude and subject based questions. Part A, topics and weightage. Logical reasoning, 25% weightage. Numbers, 10% weightage. Distance, 10% weightage. Probability, 10% weightage. Geometry, 25% weightage. Profit and loss, 5% weightage. Analytical and numerical ability, 5% weightage. Graphical numbers, 10% weightage. Weightage of the above topics are depicted in this graph. Now coming to the CSIR net syllabus for life sciences and its important topics. Unit 1. Molecules and their interaction relevant to biology. Importance of Unit 1 for Section B of part is 17.41% and thus is advised not to be skipped by the aspirants. 8% of questions part C is asked from Unit 1 molecules and their interaction relevant to biology. Unit 2 cellular organization this is also an important unit with 11.43% of Part B questions asked from this unit. 6.67% of Part C questions are asked from this unit cellular organization. Unit 3 Fundamental Processes It has been noted that historically in last 10 years this unit has a weightage of 11.43% that means 11.43% of questions of Part B is asked from this unit. 8% of questions of Part C is asked from this unit and again this is an important unit for preparation as per the syllabus and historical pattern of CSIR net exam in past 10 years. Unit 4 Cell Communication and Cell Signaling Strategically, important unit cell communication and cell signaling is a must-study unit for all. 14.29% of Part B questions are asked from this unit. We also found that 14% of Part C questions are asked from this topic. Do not skip this unit at any cost. Unit 5 Developmental Biology Mother of all units in the CSIR net syllabus has greatest weightage 17.41% in Part B and 10.67% in Part C. It has a major chunk and plays a great role. Thus, it's advisable to study it in a very elaborate manner. Unit and System Physiology Plant This is strategically tricky and important unit. If you study from this unit, you will end up attending 14.29% more questions than others in Part B and 6.67% more questions in Part C. So again, do not skip this unit. Unit 7 System Physiology Animal Strategically Skippable Unit It is easy to cover though. Maximum of 5% of questions in Part B and 5% in Part C is asked from this unit. Do not skip if you can quickly study it. Extra 10% advantage over other aspirants is not a bad idea though. Unit 8 Inheritance Biology This unit has historically seen more questions asked in Part C than Part B. 9.33% of questions of Part C of CSIR net belongs to this unit. 5.71% of question paper of CSIR net Part B is unit 
8 inheritance biology again do not skip it unit 9 diversity of life forms skippable unit not many questions are asked from this unit hardly 2.6% of questions are asked in part B and same as part C close your eyes and skip this unit safely unit 10 ecological principles planning to skip it hell no this adds 11 percent of extra advantage over others 5.77 percent in part b and 5.33 percent in part c questions unit 11 evolution and behavior historically and strategically this is one of the second most important unit Skipping this unit, suicidal risk. 14.29% of Part B questions are asked from this unit. 6.67% of Part C questions are asked from this unit. Unit 12, Applied Biology. Fourth most important unit for CSIR net exam. You miss it? You kick your chances for a JRF. 8.5% of all questions asked in Part B belongs from this unit. 6.67% of all questions of Part C belong to Unit 12 Applied Biology. Unit 13 Methods in Biology Third most important unit and topic for CSIR Net Life Sciences Syllabus. Covering this unit helps you capture 26% advantage over other aspirants. 14.29% of questions asked in Part B is from methods in biology. 12% of questions asked in Part C belongs to Unit 13, Methods in Biology. Summary of all important topics for CSIR Net. What to study and what to skip. If you are targeting Part B, in Part B more than 15% of questions are asked from Unit 1 and 5. More than 10% questions 2, 3, 4, 6, 11, 13. Less than 10% questions 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. If you are targeting Part C, more than 10% questions Unit 4, 5, 13. More than 8% questions. 1, 3, 8. More than 5% questions. 2, 5, 7, 10, 11, 12. Graphical representations of above important topics of CSIR net and their weightage as per the syllabus. Everyone searches for CSIR net exam syllabus, but they forget the smart work. Do yourself a favor. Don't just look for syllabus on list of important topics from unverified sources who have no credibility. Look for the data above, which is a compilation of experts who have spent 20 plus years of teaching and training students for CSIR net exam methodology adopted in this analysis the methodology we adopted is totally based on last 10 years csir net exam question papers for life sciences and we calculated the numbers of questions asked from every unit in that section and then divided it by the total number of questions in the section want more help contact Biotechnica's expert panel at 080-5099-7000 or 1-800-200-3757 for CSIR Net Classroom Coaching and Online Coaching at your doorstep or just chat with us in between 9.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. IST to get the best support and coaching for CSIR net exam.